So in the civil 3D, before we have seen like how to create a uh, different uh, profile banks, and uh, this is what it will be looking like. So now I am trying to create another profile for another alignment. So for that, I am just going to use quick profile option. So which means like you can have some line or polyline or circle or arc. So based on that, we can able to get the quick profile. So quick profile, it will ask you to select the object, select the object. And then you can go for surface one and then profile view, click OK. So you can just uh, put somewhere profile view origin somewhere like this. So and then quick profile created. So this is like very simple quick profile. So if you want, so same band here also we can able to put. So before that you need to select here and then go to profile view properties. And here there is some option to save as band set. This is important. So save as band set. So information you can able to put. So profile band one, something like that. If you want to describe, you can describe and you can able to check the bands. And then click OK. So and then click OK. So now you can just select this profile. Select this profile and then go to profile view properties. So from here we can able to import. So what we have saved now we can able to import. So go to import. And then here we have created now that it will appear and you can select and then click OK. So everything it will come here. So only thing we need to change the profiles. So first one is like uh, we don't have any design profile anyway. Otherwise it will come here. So everything it came since we don't have any design profile we are getting cut and fill zero and also same value for a design and then existing. So what you can do means you can just go here and then go for uh, for example create best fit profile for design profile. So select the profile view. So now based on the surface profile and we need to select the surface. So, so this surface profile I am selecting. So otherwise we can just cancel since it is like a quick profile we are not getting. So here you can just go for profile creation tools and then select profile view to create profile. So select the profile view. Now we can just go for design profile click OK. And here you can just go for draw tangents with curves. So like this I am just drawing. So you will be getting design profile. So now we can able to see like uh, changes here. So for that you need to update. Go to profile view property. And here you need to select. So layout 2. Layout 2. And then cut and fill layout 2 here. So now we can able to see different value. See 282, 289 like that. So based on that you will get. So cut and fill also we are getting. So but here graphically if you want to show cut and fill you can just go for hatch pattern. So in profile view property in hatch cut fill select and then apply and then ok. So but it is not coming why because this is like a quick profile so that's why it's not coming since uh, we not selected surface we directly did a quick profile. So anyway we have the 
data band so we i am trying to say like we can able to reuse this uh, profile bands for any kind of profiles so everything like got updated like minus value everything we can able to get so otherwise i am trying to draw some polyline so i am just trying to convert this to alignment alignment from objects select enter direction so site nothing and then i am just going for all labels and then radius 200 click ok so for this alignment we will try to create a profile so create surface profile and which alignment it is alignment 3 see for this we need to select the surface so based on that only we will get a profile view so create profile view so here i am just clicking so now for this we can able to change so again same like i'm just going for a best fit profile select profile view now we can just go for surface profile see now the surface got selected so click ok so you will get the report if you want copy and then now close it but this one we need to change that to design profile so you can select it and then you need to go here profile property profile properties and here you can just uh, go for design profile and apply and then okay now it converted to blue line which means like a design profile so now you can just click this profile view property so cut fill and then click okay so now we are getting the hatch pattern also for cut and fill so if you want to modify also you can modify before that i am just trying to change the profile bands so select so profile view properties so here in bands import band set so you can just go for profile band one click ok now the thing here you need to select the profile so click ok so now we got everything now we will see like uh, when we updating here whether the changes applied here or not so i am selecting the design profile so using this grip we can able to modify see here the values got updated so this is what we need like uh, whenever you updating the profile we can able to see the values how it is like updating using the profile bands so like this we can able to make use of profile bands for any kind of profiles one thing that we can able to see like whenever you are drawing like a quick profile it will be like uh, it will be like going away when you save the file and then come back again so i tried to save this file and when i came back so the quick profile gone so better you can just uh, go for a profile creation tools create surface profile don't go for quick profile it's only for a viewing purpose when you insert the file if you're saving and coming back it won't be there